Does infant formula match up to mother's milk, to breast milk? Well, we'd certainly like to think it comes close when moms are unable to breastfeed, but of course, Mother Nature knows best. If, you're, if you read the ingredients of infant formula, it often appears like it's pretty healthy, with vitamins and minerals and essential fatty acids added. But is it really healthy? Yeah, that's advertising for you, Vicki. They can make you believe almost anything. An infant formula contains sugar because mother's milk is naturally sweet. But if you sweeten it, how about not using genetically engineered high fructose corn syrup and really? table sugar? Right. That makes up 50% of the infant's formula. Right. If yeah. you make that yourself, that would be like half sugar and half the other things. <laughs> right. Yeah, well, we should be looking at, at a lot of factors here that are important at looking at the differences between what's in mother's milk and what's in uh, infant formula. You know what this is making me think of? It's making me think of animals, that they fatten them up so that you'll buy, they give them steroids and all these other things. Well, they're not doing that to the, to the babies, but the high fructose corn syrup makes them gain weight. Oh, well, it does, and it's, it's the wrong kind of, I mean, it's, it's not healthy for you. That's exactly what's caused this epidemic of, of obesity and type 2 diabetes, and there's nothing like, like starting it out in, in infancy. I mean, that's insane. Mom needs to be preparing for her diet uh, long before she gets pregnant and consuming the essential fatty acids and the other nutrients that she needs to be able to uh, have a baby grow on her and then when it's time for her to deliver milk, it needs to be the best milk that there is because that's what the baby's consuming for the first 6 to 12 months of its life. Well, it's really important for a mom to read the ingredients in the infant formula, but you kind of have to know how. You have to be careful because sometimes they put in these healthy things along with some of the ingredients that are not so healthy. Yeah, it looks good, but it isn't. I mean, we've got the wrong sugar, the wrong fat, the wrong protein in infant formula. And there are thousands and thousands of nutrients in mother's milk, and there are a handful that are in, in infant formula. So you just miss out on an awful lot of things that we need. Well, too, many times they add some soy, you know, and it's genetically uh -huh. engineered also. Well, and they use that for the oil and sometimes for the protein. So let's talk about some of the ingredients in the, in the mother's milk uh -huh. that are difficult, I guess, to match in oh, you, uh, formula. You couldn't begin to. And what we're looking at in breast milk is fat that's about 3 to 5%, but it consumes, uh, that's about 60% of the calories uh, that the baby gets. It's only got 1% protein, and it's got about 7% carbohydrate. Uh, and the more fat there is, the better. Because <laughs> fat really does a lot of important things, Vicki. Uh, you look at the palmitic and oleic acids, which are omega-9 essential fatty acids. And uh, they do a lot to provide the calories that the baby needs and also structural fats that, that the baby uses for membranes. So this is why it's important for a mom to eat a really healthy uh, diet. diet with healthy fats. And, and also why it's not good to give your baby low-fat milk. And why the mom shouldn't be on a, a, a high-carbohydrate diet uh, that's low in fat because it makes less fat in breast milk. So the fat in this case is good. In fact, you can't even metabolize the proteins that are essential for growth and development without fat because it provides the calories. And it helps to make smart brains. <laughs> it does it, the essential fatty acids. I mean, the brain is about 60% fat, and much of that is essential fatty acids. So Mother Nature really does is more complex than infant formula. We're not trying to give people a bad time that can't breastfeed, but, you know, there are things to be aware of in when you're making your choices and when you're reading labels and there are many websites that are very helpful and also there's the La Leche League mm -hmm. and then um, I was noticing online that um, some mothers donate their breast milk there are things to be aware of with that though because you can they can transmit HIV and they can transmit herpes and and you know um, contamination and sanitation is is an issue however there's some moms on there, they did videos, they were talking to them, and I mean, I thought, 
if that were me, I, I think I'd be tempted to buy it. However, it's some of it's pretty expensive. It can be like from 300 to $1,200 a month. Well, you see, you're looking at something that where women are just confused. A lot of them think that, that infant formula is better than milk, which is hard to I, I know somebody told me that today. <laughs> it's, it's hard to believe. And when we're looking at the proteins that's in milk, even though it's 1%, it's got immune factors and it's got factors that... Uh, help the baby uh, make the lac or make the lactase enzymes it needs to digest the food. It makes the immune system stronger in the gut, and it makes albumin. So, there well, and the other thing that's important is that it's made with complex carbohydrates. Car complex carbohydrates the are the sugars. are the and when you're talking about the sugar is is important. It's not just lactose that's there, and it's and it's certainly not high fructose corn syrup, which is full of glucose and fructose. It has about 30 complex carbohydrates in there that the body can't digest. It's undigestible fiber that the, that the, the baby's bacteria in the intestinal tract depend on to be able to grow. The healthy bacteria need that undigestible fiber. The probiotics. So you're looking at the bifidobacter that really is, it has to have that to be able to grow. And that sets up a very important part of our uh, intestinal tract strength uh, later in life. You know, also interesting to note is that infant, um, the infant intestine isn't equipped to digest cow's milk. No. You know, it's, and that's why they have to process the process it. And sometimes in the processing, it releases some toxins. Well, it's pretty simple. I think thinking what we need to do is start looking at ways to educate the public so that they don't have this confusion about thinking that milk uh, that comes from a cow that's put into a formula with a little bit of sugar and a few nutrients is going to come anywhere near to what uh, Mother Nature does when she makes breast milk. And if you have to work and you say it's inconvenient, th that's totally understandable, but maybe you could learn how to uh, pump, you know, see if, sure. that, if that's an option for you, and then you can still feed your baby the breast milk. Exactly. I, I think breast milk far and away is a way to go, so if you can, stick with that.